Hi viewers, I am Mia Bethany from Fax Factory. In this video, we are going to see about a Kansas woman who was shot and killed by a sheriff's deputy. A Kansas woman who was shot and killed by a sheriff's deputy after refusing to pull over was armed and posed no danger to him or the public according to a federal lawsuit filed Tuesday. The court filing paints a different picture to that recounted by authorities following the fatal shooting in Wichita of 51-year-old Debra Arbuckle of Andover by said Gwick County Deputy Caleb Daly in the early morning hours of December 30, 2019. Authorities said at the time that the deputy fired several rounds after Arbuckle put her car into reverse and accelerated towards deputies. The sheriff's department said the deputy feared for his life. The family's attorney, Michael Cuckleman, said multiple law enforcement videos show that while Arbuckle did put her car in reverse and the backup lights came on, she never accelerated towards the deputy. Furthermore, Daly had just rammed her car into a grassy area and her vehicle was surrounded by patrol cars, so she couldn't go anywhere, Cuckleman said. Daly got out of his car and positioned himself so his vehicle separated him from Arbuckle. He was not in any sort of danger, Cuckleman said. He shot her through the passenger window and he shot over his patrol car in order to shoot her. Arbuckle couldn't have reached him even if she had wanted to, he said, noting that authorities had earlier spiked her tires during a pursuit so she was unable to drive faster than 15 meter per hour. Deputies chased Darbuckle because her Volkswagen Sedan had a license plate that belonged on a Chevy pickup truck. The lawsuit filed by Arbuckle's son, Alec Hansen, seeks unspecified general and punitive damages. Lieutenant Benjamin Blick said, the Sedgwick County Sheriff's Office would not comment on the complaint. A home phone number for Daly could not be found. Sedgwick County District Attorney Mark Bennett said in an email statement that the case remains under review and that no charging decision has been made. He declined to comment further. Arbuckle's family wants the sheriff's department to fire Daly and for his law enforcement certification to be revoked. They also want Bennett to file criminal charges, Cuckleman said. Daly had been on the other side of Wichita when the chase began shortly after 3 a.m. and he raced across the city to join in at one point reaching 142 m meter per hour. That in of itself should result in termination, Cuckleman said. We can't have law enforcement driving at speeds of 142 miles an hour through Wichita to go to the east side and join a chase already underway about a wrong license plate being on a vehicle. That is reckless.